All right, learners, let's get into the, today's topic called binomial multiplication. It is when I have two terms in a bracket and two other terms in a bracket being multiplied. How do I solve this? Well, there's a nice mnemonic, a way to remember things, to do it. It's called the FOIL method. All right, let's get into it. All right, so here we get to the fundamentals of what a ton of your next few years of mathematics is going to be based on. And so I really want everyone to focus up now and see what's going on. Because right now I have a polynomial, or more specifically, how many terms are in this first bracket? One and two. And so we have a binomial multiplied by the second bracket. And how many terms are in the second bracket? That's right, another binomial. So when I have a binomial like this multiplied by another binomial, then it becomes slightly different to how we simplify this, to how do we multiply these out. And so which multiplies with which? And it can be a bit confusing as to where to start. What are the rules? And so the general rule is that everything in this first binomial must multiply with everything in the second binomial. And so there is a nice method that we use to help us out. This mnemonic, which is a word that means to a way to help me remember things, this mnemonic, this method is called the FOIL method. And FOIL really means I've got these four letters and they're going to help me with something. Now, F means firsts, and what that means is I need to multiply the first term with the in the first bracket with the first term in the second bracket. And what is that going to give me? Well, 2x multiplied by 3x, reminding ourselves coefficients multiply and variables multiply. And so x multiplied by x is x squared. And so that was our firsts. And then the next letter is O, which means outer. And so the outer edges of my, uh, of my expression here, which is 2x and the negative 5, the outside terms must multiply. And so 2x multiplied by negative 5 is negative 10x. And so let's continue on. We can see, let me just move this down. And so let's continue on to the next letter of I. And I means inner or inside. And so what are the inside terms? The inner terms are the plus one and the three X. And those must multiply. And so one multiplied by three X is positive 3x. And then lastly, but it is also the last, we must multiply the last term of each bracket. And so plus 1 multiplied by negative 5 is negative 5. And so we can simplify this one last time. 6x squared. And we have like terms here in the middle, negative 10x plus 3x, which is negative 7x. And we have our constant of negative 5 still there. And that is our final answer. And this method, ladies and gents, is called the FOIL method. You multiply the first terms, then the outside terms, then the inside terms, then the last terms. And by doing that, you make sure that everything in this first uh, bracket is being multiplied with everything in the second bracket. And so just bear in mind, there might be a few other ways that they trick you into seeing this. But an example of that can be if they say x minus 2 all squared. Remember, what does a square mean? A square means that you multiply the thing with itself. And so this is the same as x minus 2, the bracket, multiplied by itself. And we can see that this is simply going to be another FOIL. 
Okay, so give this your time to practice, all right? And go ahead, try the exercises, but for now, always remember, do your best and pray for the rest.